train smart. All right, everyone. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Good to have you back, uh, my subscribers. Thank you for your support. Really, really appreciate it. And we are growing, which is super exciting. Super exciting. Anyway, guys, this week I wanted to talk about how I set up my rifle for home defense or personal defense. Okay, this particular rifle that I'm going to talk you guys through is uh, how I have it set up for home defense really okay there might be some little changes I would make if it was going to be a rifle that I would carry with me or have in my vehicle um, for personal defense okay outside of the home uh, but for home defense let's talk about how I would set this up or how I have mine set up so that you guys have an idea of how maybe you should set yours up okay uh, first this is uh, an AR-15 style rifle right um, actually this is an, uh, uh, an other, it's not a rifle or a pistol, okay? Um, and this is how I set mine up for home defense, okay? Just a couple of key things here. You can see it's very minimalist, okay? I don't have a lot of stuff on, on my gun here, um, and that's for a reason, right? Weight is a thing. I don't want to have my gun super way down if I have to be holding it for an extended period of time, okay? I also don't want a ton of stuff on the front of my gun um, over my barrel because I don't want to be weighing that down. Um, again, if I have to hold it in any kind of position for an extended amount of time, I want the least amount on there but still be able to do the job that I need it to do. Okay. So first and foremost, I have um, a red dot on here. Okay, This is a Holosyn 403C. Okay, it's nothing extravagant. Um, they're not uh, super expensive. They're actually pretty affordable for red dots. Uh, you can find this on our website. It'll bring you to Amazon so that you can purchase it through Amazon. Okay, we don't carry these personally, but I, in, I love these. I have them on all of my rifles. 403C, they do have a 503C. Really, the difference is um, a little bit of exterior uh, changes, but otherwise the main difference is you can choose between two different reticles, okay? I personally like a single red dot, all right, which is what comes with the uh, 403C, so you don't need to spend the extra money on the 503C if you don't want to, right? I don't need to change reticles. I like a single red dot for all of my stuff, including my pistols, so the 403C is more than enough, um, pretty affordable, okay? Um, batteries last for a really long time. They also have a backup solar um, charging point on the top. Okay, so you guys, when you guys are outside doing some stuff, uh, you'll have a backup system there if your battery decided to die on you. All right, really nice, clean. It's small. It's really lightweight, which is really nice, and it comes with a decent uh, riser so that you can bring that red dot closer up to your vision versus having to you know move your head down to it um, which I like okay I like to have a more natural shooting position um, I will probably be upgrading this to a slightly higher riser but what it comes with is is totally perfect for what you need to begin with okay uh, moving on down uh, the barrel here you'll see I have a flashlight okay this is a Streamlight uh, ProTac it's a 1000 lumen light um, with the pressure switch, okay? Um, again, on my website, guys, you can find the link for these that'll bring you to Amazon. Uh, just the way you see it here, it comes with the mount here, uh, it comes with the pressure switch and the adapter for the rear um, and the light, okay? Really nice, it's affordable, um, and they work great okay I know surefire is like the big thing out there surefire is a great light too they're expensive um, and about the same really I mean as far as brightness and everything goes these are the same as surefire uh, and they're a little bit less expensive okay I like these I utilize these on all of my guns I use uh, streamlight even on my pistol okay um, Make sure you do have a pressure switch, all right, guys, that's set to a momentary kind of setting there. You want to be able to turn your light on and off 
at a moment's notice. Okay, you don't want to be dragging light while you're trying to move because you're just going to let everybody know which direction you're going. Okay, so you want to be able to on and off when you want it to. All right, guys. Uh, that's that's really about it, guys. Other than like the sling, you know, and I, I talked about slings in a different video, so I'll, I'll I'll reference you guys to that video. I'll leave a link up over here. Um, you know, have a sling. That's really important. Uh, number one for retaining the gun to you. Okay, somebody tries to take it away from you, at least you have something keeping it on you, um, and then you can utilize that sling for when you need to use your hands. Okay, without having to put your your gun down. All right, guys. I do have a few other upgrades on here that I like personally. Um, my charging handle. I like something that's ambidextrous and easier to uh, pull, easier to utilize on either side. Um, and then I do have a little upgrade here on my bolt release where I can actually release my bolt with my trigger finger. Uh, it just gives me that a little bit of a quicker back up on target after a magazine change. Okay, not stuff that's necessary guys. Okay, it's all about how you train. That's just a personal thing that I like. Um, I have them on all of my other uh, rifles as well um, but again it's just a personal preference thing guys um, I'll try and leave links for all this stuff in the description down below so that you guys can uh, can take a look at these on your own all right um, that's about it guys muzzle device I do have a muzzle device that in a, that can accept a uh, suppressor I don't have a suppressor on my firearm for home defense okay and this is a real controversial topic um, some people will tell you, you you need to have one on there because they're so loud, um, you know, and, and protecting your family's ears and your ears. I don't disagree with that. I would venture to say that I want that loud uh, bang, um, number one, to scare off anybody else that's in your home or around your home because a lot of times, you know, bad guys are not by themselves. Uh, and number two, I want to notify everybody and their grandmother around me that some shit's going down in um, my house, okay? I know it's controversial. I would rather be alive and have my family alive with some hearing damage, maybe, versus nobody knows what's going on because I have a silencer on my gun um, and I failed to protect my home, okay? That kind of thing. Uh, at least people know or people are aware or whatever everybody's nosy these days they hear something that's not normal they might take a peek outside see something call 911 right which is what I want um, other than me calling or my family calling whatever the situation may be I want other people to call too and I really want to be able to scare the crap out of whoever else is trying to get into my home or maybe in my home okay with that first round all right that's just me it's a super controversial topic that's the way I do it you guys can do it your way you know kudos to you it is what it is uh, you know don't hate on me for it okay uh, but anyway that's it guys real simple setup here there's not a lot to it I like simplicity it's just what I need you need to have some kind of system where you can aim all right I like a red dot iron sights for home defense cool all right um, and you need to have a light on your firearm because most of the time it's gonna be dark, okay? And you need, have to identify your target, okay, before you can let off a round or, or whatever, okay? We do not shoot at shadows and we do not shoot at outlines. That is never a thing, all right? We are the good guys here and you need, have to identify what you are about to destroy before you do that okay you have to there's no excuse so a light is a necessity on your gun any any gun that you have okay even your everyday carry you should have a light on it for the same reason all right guys that's it for this video that's um rifle setup for home defense uh i might do a video on on one um you know for outside or whatever really there's not too much changes i might put a um, a different optic on here or something where I can utilize it to see a little bit further uh, outside especially nighttime that's where you want to utilize a suppressor and it's not for sound it's more for 
suppressing that muzzle flash, okay? Uh, at nighttime, bullets are attracted to light, all right? So if you have a big flash going off at the end of your muzzle um, while you're in a fight or whatever, all of the guns are going to train on that flash, okay? And you're screwed, all right? Um, that's really what a, uh, a suppressor or a silencer is for, guys, okay? Realistically, all right? Um, and for night vision and stuff, right? That's what it's for. You want to suppress that flash or have no flash at all for nighttime operations, okay? Daytime, it doesn't matter. Nighttime operations, that's what you want to utilize that for. All right, guys, um, that's it. Hope this video helped you out, guys. If it did, hit that like button for us. Comment, share. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, leave it down below. I will get back to you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Toggle notifications to all. This is what I say every time I end one of my videos. But hey, it helps us out. So subscribe and share for us. We'll see you guys next time. Be ready. Train smart.